Hey folks, welcome back to Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you 204 South Union, Alliance, Ohio. This is a house that's really nice, or at least it was really nice. Has a brand new roof, a lot of updated windows, and it sits right across from the YMCA in Alliance, Ohio. Well, we had some bad tenants here. This is probably one of the worst ones I've seen just because of all the damage that's inside of the house. I'm going to take you up on the front porch. Stay tuned. So these tenants left quickly. Did not leave a key to the front door. They changed the lock. I do not have a key, so we'll have to go in the back. I'll show you the mail. Brian, P-L-O-E-T-Z, Alliance, Ohio. He's also associated... Uh, in New York City. His partner, Elizabeth Mang. From the outside of the house, they didn't take care of it too bad. Just wait until we get inside. Folks, I hate saying anybody's name, but when you see what they've done to the inside of this house, you'll understand why I'm putting their name on this video. If you treat someone's property like this, you should expect to be recognized for what you've done. Here's the backyard of the property. You can see they've been parking vehicles in the back. Left a mess on the porch. I arrived here today because we had not had any response with them for at least a week. And I saw a notice on the door saying that the utilities had been shut off. Was finally able to reach them and they let us know that they had moved out. And it appears like they took just what they wanted and left what they didn't. Here's the mess that we have to clean up. Now the electric's off, so some of this video could be dark. Here's how they left the kitchen. Now there's some real problems in this house now. It's a good solid house, and this house was beautiful. There used to be a wall, and you can see where it went up and they tore the wall down. So it's actually a whole separate room. I don't know what they put up over all the windows. They tore down the ceiling and started a construction project, it appears. They took down all the, all of the drywall that was here. This room had already been drywalled, brand new drywall. And now all this is gonna have to be repaired. They cut my door in half. And this is the nice part of the house down here. You can see the junk that's just left all over. This is a really large house. It's probably more than 3,000 square feet. This must be where the dog was hanging out. This black black stuff black drapes anything to make the house very dark looks like they did some decorating left a few mattresses wait until we get upstairs we're heading that way now outside of this door is a real nice little porch area just left a big mess there Okay, so here they have all the drywall. Big sheets of drywall. This is where the mailbox was outside where we just were. Cigarettes on the staircase. Okay, here we go. You can see the construction project that they started and just walked out. Well, he fixed some of this. He put up the drywall but left all the plaster on the floor. Huh. It's a lot to believe. Man. 
The drywall's here. This just takes a lot of work to get this back in order. He hung one sheet of drywall there. It's going to be a mess to clean up. Wait until you see the basement, too. Left several TVs here. I'm sure they don't work. Let's check out this room. Well, at least he didn't tear down any walls. Oh, they took up the carpet. My carpet all through here. There's the bathroom. Well, I hope they didn't have their baby in here where this mess is. I can't really understand it. There was nice carpet throughout the whole upstairs and now it's been torn up. I don't know if that has something to do with the dog they had. <clears throat> It's very frustrating when you're a landlord and you're just trying to give people an opportunity and this is what you get. This doesn't happen often, I will tell you. This is definitely unbelievable. Let's wait till you see down here. My goodness. Go down to the basement and see what it looks like. We left the Cheerios. Left the washer and dryer. Wow. Paint cans. Look at that mess. So a lot of that looks like it's the um, lath and things from his construction project that he left up there. Just threw the dryer vent over. Wow, we. Left all of this cardboard on the floor. That's the outside entrance to the house. It was left unlocked. The hot water tank. It's really a shame. This house was was really really a nice house, and it will be a nice house again. It's just these folks that come in and leave a mess, then my company has to fix it. And if we don't fix it, then we have to take a big consideration on the price. It's just, um, it's days like this that you just wish you weren't in the rental business. Let's check out the bathroom in here. Oh, well, they left a broom. More cigarettes. Uh, I'd say what makes this house the worst is all of the um, drywall destruction. Um, I guess that on the bright side, he left the materials to fix it, so that's good. And most of the demo has been cleaned up, so I guess that's a good point too. But I can't imagine that he did this while there were kids living in the house. That's 
That doesn't seem very responsible to me. I want you to remember their names. Brian Plotz, P-L-O-E-T-Z, and Elizabeth Mang. These are two people that deserve to be recognized for the work they've done. I hope I don't have to bring any more of these videos to you. And if you're in a similar situation where you're renting a house to an individual, uh, do like we do and try to check regularly. We really try to do that. If a tenant starts stalling you, you might be ending up with something like this. This is what we ran into. Uh, we couldn't get into the house and we continued to ask for pictures multiple times and we were denied the ability to be able to see the photos of the house. I understand why now, but they're gone and the house is a mess. I just want to show you a couple more things up here. This used to be nice carpet. Now it's just bare, nasty floor. Left all of this mess to be cleaned up. And again, I mean, it is cosmetic, but this is going to require a lot of time, a lot of time and effort. They just kind of walked off and left toolboxes and whatever they didn't need. All right, folks, well, I've shown you my troubles. Uh, please leave me a comment if you've been through a similar experience. If either of these characters that I explained earlier, if you want to talk to me about my experience, I'd be happy to do that. My phone number is 330-323-9775. 330-323-9775. Give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. It's Todd Bosley. Be sure to check out Todd Bosley's world-famous YouTube channel. Unfortunately, we have other disasters of some of our other rental properties on there. And I also show all the houses that we're going to have available. At some point, this house will also be available. Although it's going to need a great cleanup and a lot of work before we get to that point. But anyhow, thanks for watching. I'm just a little overwhelmed by all of the work that I see we have to do here. Folks, I hope you have a better day than I'm having because I'm really not having a good one. But thanks for watching.